Okay, so by now you're used to this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off um, this section with a bunch of um, vector operations. So this section is on dot products, on the scalar product. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a bunch of um, get a bunch of vectors, and I'm going to do um, some scalar operations on them, and hopefully that'll do everything um, nicely. Um, and as you may have noticed by now, um, I don't like to avoid units. I like to put my units in these vectors. Um, I think it's important for you to always have units where available. Um, and we'll see some of that in the cross products in um, at least one of the um, cross product demonstrations that I'm going to give you. Um, we're going to see why some strange things um, some things that look a little odd as far as I'm concerned in um, the problems that they give you and some of the um, confusions that show up only show up because um, only because you don't have units there, right? Uh, things that would make absolutely no sense if you had units um, as far as, you know, why do I end up having um, meters squared plus meters or something like that uh, do make sense if you don't have any units there. So the units are actually a really good um, reasoning tool to help you figure out what exactly is going on. So that's why I keep putting these units on there, um, even though sometimes the units don't really make perfect sense. Um, that's just, uh, I mean, that's just a um, the way it is. I'd rather have the units I'd rather have the answers, you know, why do I want something in meters squared when I do this dot product? I'd rather have that a little um, confusing rather than um, teach you how to do these things without the uh, units because in, in, in the end you're always going to be using the units and the units are very, very important both for reasoning purposes and um, for your jobs in the long run. So. Um, a lot of the problems that I see when I'm teaching EM, ENM, for example, I think come directly from the fact that some of the some of the work that you've done, you've been able to not use units and just throw them in at the end, and um, and basically everything's been okay as far as that's concerned. Um, but that's probably led you to have some wrong answers in the past, and if you get into something as complicated as electricity and magnetism. Um, that will give you a whole lot of problems um, just because at that point you really, really need to be comfortable with the math and be able to, um, you should be comfortable with the math and be able to reason with it, right? And I mean, that's, that's all uh, mathematics is. It's a reasoning tool that helps you figure out what think, what's going on. Um, it's a shortcut that helps you, uh, that basically just helps you um, avoid uh, avoid some of the uh, more complicated parts of the reasoning process. Um, but if you set, if you don't set things up intelligently, and if you don't have um, ways for yourself to check what's what's happening while you're going on, then it stops becoming a tool and it starts becoming a crutch. So, I mean, you don't want a, um, you don't want to do anything with a crutch. Um, you want to, you, you want to do everything as much as possible with, um, with a tool. Okay, so now I'm just going to plot um, these three vectors. Um, so I've got two in the x direction, three meters in the um, y direction, and four meters up. So one, do, 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 do it that way's up. One, it's about that big. One, two, three, four. So that's where our vector A is going to end, right? Straight up from here, and that's our A. All right, uh, and then if we have B, B is at six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, way over here, and four way over there. So we go that way and that way, and we get here, and then we go down to uh, one, two, so that's our spot there, and so that's B. 
and then C in, uh, is, you know, the one that has to look different, because you always have somebody that's got to be different. Minus 3, uh, or minus 3, 1, 2, 3, then it's 2, so it's over here, and um, then down 1, so one step is like that far, so, so I mean, bang, bang. Uh, and so that is C. So those are the three vectors. Um, just just so you know what's going on, just so you kind of see um, what they look like as we're um, playing with these these guys, right? Um, it's kind of fun to look at where all these things are and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got these three vectors. They're pretty, they're in color. Um, and we want to do some dot products on them. We want to do this scalar product. Um, the scalar product's nice and simple. Uh, the whole idea is usually you take two vectors, in this case A and B, um, and then you turn them into a um, scalar, a, you know, just a simple number. So it's one number that characterizes um, the interaction of those two vectors. And in the next um, example, and in your book, obviously, um, you know, they go into deep, we'll talk a little bit more about what that means, right? But, I mean, we'll just start off by, um, saying, you know, th this characterizes the, the interaction, the, um, these two numbers with a single number. Um, so basically how we do this is we go step by step. So for the x's, we multiply the two x components together. So we have two meters by six meters, right? Then we add in the next set of um, components, which are the y components, right? And so that's three meters times four meters. Three meters times four meters, okay? And then we do the same thing for the z, and we add in um, four meters times minus two meters. Okay? And this is well within your capabilities already. That's you know, this is 12 meters squared, this is 12 meters squared, this is minus 8 meters squared, so 24 minus 8, so that's um, 16 square meters. Um, 16 square meters. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I mean, there's nothing um, astounding about the dot product. It's something easy, something that you'll get used to. Um, so I put this next one in here, which is um, 3a times 2b minus c, uh, just to deal with some orders of order of operations sort of things. So in this case, we have 3 times um, 2 meters, 3 meters, and 4 meters, x, y, z, uh, dot. Um, 2 times um, the vector 6 meters, 4 meters, minus 2 meters, right? Um, minus uh, <clears throat> this C guy, which is um, minus 3 meters, 2 meters, minus 1 meter, okay? All right, so um, first thing to do is um, all, foil in these um, scalars, right? the three and the two. Um, so that's sort of the first order of operations. There's nothing here that supersedes it. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got six meters, nine meters, 12 meters. To be honest, we didn't have to do this one because we could use, do it at the very end, but this one we have to do right away. So we'll do both of them at the same time. Um, times 12 meters, four meters, or eight meters, minus four meters, minus, oh, well, let's boil that minus sign in two. So we plus three meters, minus two meters, plus one meter, right? Okay, so that, I guess, so we distributed that minus sign into each one of these different components. Everything's happy, you're happy, I'm happy. Um, we're ready to go. Next, we have to do this addition. Before we can do the dot product, we can do the addition, or we could factor through the, um, product as well, I guess. I don't see any um, advantage to doing that, but we could. Um, there, this is really math, so there are all sorts of equivalent ways to do this. Um, so 12 times 3 is 36. That's meters squared. 8 times 
2 is minus 16, that's meters squared. 4 times 1, minus 4 times 1 is minus 4, that's meters squared. And now we're, we're now we've got that, we start doing this, all right? Um, so that's um, 6 times 36 meters cubed, plus, uh, minus, because there's a minus sign there, so 9 times 16 meters cubed, and then we have 12 times minus 4, so we have minus um, 12 meters cubed times 4. Okay, yeah, that still works. Um, all right, so we keep on going. Um, and of course, I have an error in my in my previous um, calculation, so you'll have to bear with me as I multiply. Uh, 36 by 6, what is 36 by 6? That's 36, 0, 18, so that's 216. All right, so we have 216 meters cubed minus 9 by 16. Um, I should be able to do that one in my head, but I can't, so we will um, just do it um, like that. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, 144. Minus 144 meters cubed. Minus 48 meters cubed. Like I said, if I was clever, I would have seen that right away. Um, so now, now what we have here, um, 144 plus 48 is 192. So it's, so we have 16 plus 8, I guess, right? So 16 plus 8 is 24 meters cubed. That's what we get from doing all of that work it is a nice little number, 24 meters cubed. 1, 9, 2, so we have 8 to get to 200, yeah. All right, so C. Oh, we're running out of room already. Oh, well, lose the pretty, prettiness. That's, that's okay. Not everything has to be pretty all the time. Uh, my wife loves colors. She loves anything with colors, so she's probably upset with me because I'm doing, I'm not color coding the different, the different um, vectors, and then after I multiply them and do the things, I get the right um, mix of colors, right? So, right, so, you know, yellow and blue make green and all that other fun stuff. Do they still have that commercial? I love that commercial. Actually, I didn't love that commercial, but it was always on, so I pretended to love it because... If you don't have a choice in things, just like the things that are there. Um, let's see, 36 meters cubed, um, plus 16 meters, or squared, excuse me, 16 meters squared plus 4 meters squared, so that's 20 plus 36, um, so that's 56 meters squared. So, um, you'll notice what this looks like here, is it looks like that thing that, um, goes in the uh, in inside the radical sign for the um, magnitude. So b dot b is just the square of the magnitude of b. It's uh, that that's something you should get used to. Okay. Um, d. So d was one of the other complicated ones, right? Yeah. C dot b times a. Okay, so I've got C, B, A. All right, so what am I going to do with that? Um, well, let me just write this stuff down. Minus three meters, two meters, minus one meter, dot, um, six meters, four meters, minus two meters. You'll notice this is not ambiguous at all. Whereas we had to worry about stuff here, this actually isn't ambiguous. I didn't don't really need the parentheses. Uh, because the dot product can only be multiplied by a scalar, or, or can only be multiplied by a, um, two vectors, and a scalar has to, you can't multiply a vector by another vector, right? You, ha you have to have either the dot product or the cross product. Um, you have to specify, otherwise it just doesn't mean anything. So the parentheses aren't actually necessary for this thing. Um, actually, there's a thing, I think, called the outer product that makes life difficult. Um, but we're going to ignore that because I'm not going to teach you that. And you are probably never going to get into the weirdness of math that requires that. So, um, 
let's just go. Okay, so what do we have? We have our, why, why am I going back to C? Yeah, this is A. Two meters, three meters, four meters, okay. So we have minus three times two uh, meters squared plus two times two meters times four meters plus minus one times minus two meters squared. All that times the vector a. I'll just write a here because I'm out of screen. Um, so let's go ahead and do that sum. That's minus 6 plus 8. So we're at 2 plus 2, which is 4. So we have 4 square meters times 6 meters times 4 meters times um, minus 2 meter, or 2, 3, 4. Two, three, four meters. Let, let me make sure that I did this right. Okay, two, three, minus three, um, times six. Okay, that's why things look different. Okay, and then two times four minus one times two. Okay, so we've got that change. So we have to redo the sum. So we have minus 18 um, plus eight is at 10. Right? Minus 18 plus 8 is at 10, um, plus 2 is at minus 8. Okay, so equals minus 8 meters squared. Um, usually this is probably good enough, um, but uh, it's best to go ahead and just foil through for now. 16 meters squared, um, minus 16 meters squared, minus 24, or cubed now, meters cubed and plus some um, 32 meters. Um, there's no minus sign there. Yeah. Okay, so minus 32 meters. Okay, um, nice, pretty, simple. Um, nothing to write home about, but you know, just remember that you do the dot product and then you, and then you multiply by the vector. A scalar times a vector is perfectly okay. Um, and then E, E is the one you've been waiting for, right? Because you saw this thing, that looks pretty, right? You see, A dot B over B dot B um, times B. And this is going to be your friend. You're going to get to play with this a lot. You're going to love it. Um, and the best thing about this is I did A dot B and I did B dot B. So that's 16 meters squared and that's 56 meters squared times b, which is 6 meters, 4 meters, minus 2 meters, right? And so that's equal to um, the ratio of these two guys, which is 2 sevenths, I think. So 6 meters, 4 meters, minus 2 meters. And then we go through and we say, okay, we've got 12 meters, 12 sevenths of meters, doo -doo -doo -doo, times... Um, eight sevenths meters and minus four sevenths meters plenty good plenty good We're go you're going to love that one this is um the projection of a on b uh, so if you've read it you've read the thing you've already seen that that's what this thing says um and in the next thing that i'm going to do i'll do a little more with that projection the projection is really really important it's a lot of fun and um you know you obviously get some on your homework so i'll talk to you soon bye